So in this example with Elliott Wave, I'm going to show you how we predicted the bottom of the market where we told our members to buy and then what the market did to get to this point of $319. If you go way back here in the historical data, basically moved up here to point number four, the market then came down and here on the bottom, the market moved sideways up and down in a very complex downward cycle according to Elliott Wave. As soon as we went upwards here, you can see here that it says sold, 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 and we took some profit and we expected that the market would come down. We recommended to our members at BitcoinTaf.com is that we should take some profit, basically sell there, and we are going to come back here and buy right there at 96.94. Then we said we're going to jump into about 220 and then as high as 319. Now, let me replay from this point onwards and show you what we predicted and why Elliott Wave reports are so valuable for you to have as part of your trading strategy. Many of our members make use of that on a daily basis, and we literally cannot trade without that. So here you can see right at the top there, we sold. Remember, we sold as we went up, and that's called your dollar average out. So you take your profit. We then said that we're going to come down here to about 106 and we can add to some positions here. And it doesn't really matter where we buy, but let me make that a little bit bigger. And you can see uh, it landed here into our target of 106 and we started buying. Our whole goal was here to accumulate during this period here to the downside up till we hit about the bottom of 96. And here you can see that we went sideways here in that yellow channel. And of course, what we recommended here was to buy. And remember, nothing that we say here is financial advice. Please just look at the video. Uh, this is what we predict according to Elliott Wave as well as our algorithm data. And here you can see we came into point number A right there. We are going to go upwards here into point number B, uh, right into that level there as the market hits that red line there. And here you can see that we hit the target here in point number B with uh, near perfection. You could have sold if you wanted to at that point. But remember, we in accumulation zone. We don't really care what the market is doing here. All we want to do is to dollar average. And we are looking at this 96 level. Then as the market went, uh, created this very big A, B, C move to the downside here. That's all we are interested in. And then, of course, we're going to come down into this ABC. We keep our positions. We don't waver. That's part of what you can see here called ladder in. Now, here we in the final stretch. We went into point number one to a bit of a downward cycle here. And we should have a spike here into that point number 96 before we go vertical upwards. And here you can see we mentioned to our members in our report. And we said there's a vertical upside coming. Get ready. And then as you also know that XRP spiked, we did the same analysis on XRP, the same on XLM. We did the same on Bitcoin. You know, Bitcoin is up 102% and we predicted that exactly to the T. And here you can see there's that big spike. Market went up, it spiked down. All our orders got filled. And here you'll see now as Bitcoin Cash spikes vertical 258% into that target year. First, the target of 220 and this is the target that we predicted. You can see here right to the T and then higher into the second level, which is 319, right into that level there. Now the market is moving sideways here. In our latest report, we show exactly what Bitcoin Cash is going to do. We also show what coins like uh, XRP is going to do, XLM, and there is one coin that is due to spike up vertically similar to what Bitcoin Cash has done. We can make an easy 100, 200%. In effect, this is what we do at BitcoinTaf.com. And when you read this blog post, this is exactly how the Elliott Wave algorithms work. Good luck. I would suggest get your subscription today. This is Marius Landman. Please read through the rest of the blog post.